Hey all, this is Ron, um, Garage Aquatics 2023. I just received an order from, uh, they call it the Nisi store in Fullerton, California on the return address label. It's Swimming Creatures on Instagram and Amazon. And I bought stuff from them before and there should be 10 plus, I think two, orange sunkissed Neocaridinia shrimp in here. Um, not sure what day it was shipped. Let's see if there's a date on it. Yeah, 119. So it was supposed to arrive according to the USPS tracking number on Saturday. That would have been the 20th, sometime before 9 p.m. They didn't show. So Sunday, yesterday when I checked, uh, it said sometime today, Monday, uh, by 9 p.m. And then this morning it said sometime between 11.30 and uh, 3.30, and today's Monday. And so they just showed up about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. Um, and it's about one, one o'clock in the afternoon right now. So we're gonna open this. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna open this. So, you know, I'm hoping everything's still okay because they were out there for a lot longer than I would have hoped they'd have been. So we shall see. And they usually have it packed full of rock wool. And there's their number and their uh, info at swimmingcreaturesinc.com. And in the past, there's been a 10% discount in there, uh, but they're, uh, grab a trash can here. And I don't know where it went. Um, we'll use this bucket to get rid of all this rock wool. Our uh, upstairs attic is full of rock. Well, I could probably just throw it up there along with the rest of it instead of throwing it in the landfill. But it's packed in a, some sort of an insulative uh, envelope. This side looks like the side that it's going to open from. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Trash can's right next to me. It's got towels on it. I didn't even see that. All right, so now let's open this carefully. It's gummed together. And I don't have a pair of scissors right here handy, so I'm gonna use this razor knife very carefully because I don't want to puncture the bag inside. And here is the bag of water and shrimp. Looks like they're mostly all right. Looks like there's a dead one. We'll, we'll see, we'll dump this out in this bucket. So I'm gonna use this bucket to uh, um, acclimate them. I'll drip acclimate them. I am going to have to cut this bag because they've got a big staple on this never seen one like that on their bags before. There we go. Let's pull this out. And there's a knot in this one. I don't know if I can get it, it's wet. So maybe I will just cut it free also. gently dump these little guys and girls out into the bucket and then we will take a look a count oh there's still little shrimpies in there get some water back up in there there we go all right I'm gonna get this green mesh out of the way I guess that gives them something to hold on to when they're in transport. They are persistent. Off you go, there you are. All right, what do we got? There's one dead. Right there in the middle. Uh, 
Um, one's really dark. It almost looks like a cherry shrimp. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. It looks like maybe 14 or 15. So not bad. They all look pretty good. So and like I said, these are the orange sun kissed. And I'm really glad they're, they, you know, they made it because five was, I really had my doubts with the way the post office handled it. I'm not sure what their scoop was. But then let's see, let, I'm going to uh, do a pause here again and I'm going to set up the drip, show you guys how I do that. All right, well, first off, it turns out there were two dead ones. Hope you can see those. And what I do, what I've got, is two pieces of airline and about halfway through I've got a, an air valve um, and one of those little hooks and I don't even remember why I got that I think maybe just to hook it on top of the the bucket a couple suction cups all right and it's going in this tank so one suction cup on the inside one on the outside a little suction going here and it's flowing and I'm hoping you can see this it's just a drip and I'm gonna let that drip I don't know maybe double the volume of the water in the bucket, there's about an inch of water in the bucket with the shrimp. And uh, let's see, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm seeing twelve. So and we'll see if they all make through the drip acclimation here. All right. So anyway, that's it. That's how I do it. So it's been about an hour and a half drip acclimating these uh, orange sunkissed shrimp and I'm going to put them in the tank now. So what I'm going to do is net them out, put them in a measuring cup, and pour the water back into the tank and then we'll uh, put the shrimp in there. I'm going to set this up right here, show most of the tank and I'll readjust a little bit. What is this, a two cup measuring cup, some water, handy shrimp net. And 11. So, and I'm just going to put that red one in a different tank. So, let's see. I don't know what we can see here. But I don't want to dump them all over the garage floor. There are 11 shrimp in there. So, we'll hang this here. So, I'm going to cut these guys loose. And hopefully, we'll hope for the best that they will be fine. There's lots of food in here for them to eat. Um, there's some wood that they can eat off of the, uh, the biofilm. There's plants, there's mulm, um, and here they go. There's the first brave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and let go. Strong, yeah. There it goes. Start getting a little freaked out when the... You can see them hanging out down the bottom. There's a big wad of hornwort in there. They'll hang out in that. And at the surface of the tank, there is a bunch of... I think it's called hydrocotyl Japan. And they like hanging out in that too. And this is the tank of the Blue Dreams. And there's... Some there, you could probably see some 
there's a couple right at the bottom here on the wood so I'll put some more wood in the other tank with the orange sun kissed because they do seem to like that picking off the bark picking off the bio slime all right so you see how I acclimate my shrimp when I get them they're down uh, there in that tank with the little orange Finding Nemo pot in there. Uh, and they are slowly filling uh, with tank water into that little white two gallon plastic painter's bucket. It's a pretty easy process. Uh, sometimes I'll just put them in a, a measuring cup and hang the measuring cup. I do that a lot, you know, transferring uh, shrimp throughout the house, you know, from tank to tank at, here at home. Uh, but I'll, uh, I'll have them in a measuring cup and I'll hang the measuring cup into the tank that they're going to go and I'll let it sort of temperature acclimate that way. And I'll just sort of submerge the measuring cup just a little at a time uh, and let a little of the tank water flow into the cup uh, until it's pretty close to full and then I'll just dump them in. And yeah, I haven't had any really issues with that. It works pretty well. I, and end up, I've got red cherry shrimp in too many tanks. I mean, they're like, they are like cockroaches. They breed like cockroaches. So I've got a, a tank. Uh, the first batch I bought of the orange sunkist didn't do real well. I lost a lot of my. I'm down to I think two adults, and it looks like they made uh, little ones. So I'll be adding this lot to that lot, and hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully it's a, a different you know gene pool going in could be all the same stock that they've been breeding from at Swimming Creatures for a long time too, who knows. But uh, I also, uh, about the same time as I got the last batch of Orange Sunkist, I got Blue Dreams and they're doing really well and there's baby babies all over the bottom of the tank and there I've had those about, oh, I don't know, maybe two months now. So anyway, if, if you're looking for, you know, a good price on uh, uh, Neocaridina, I think, uh, you know, if you follow Swimming Creatures, uh, on Instagram and you buy through their website, uh, you get, I think it's a 10% discount. And, and that may vary. I don't have a clue. Uh, originally, like I said, I had found them on amazon.com. And uh, so I've, I've bought from them a few times now and, and had good, you know, good luck. So anyway, um, I don't know if that's an endorsement or not. You can take it for whatever it's worth. I'll buy from him again, and I guess that's what matters. So any questions, any comments, any smart-ass remarks, give a holler. I'm going to put this up on uh, Instagram and YouTube. So love you all. Have a great week.